Bismillah, salatu wassalam ala Rasulullah. Thank you for introduction. Um, I was asked to be to present a minimally invasive intervention of spinal metastases. Uh, I will try to be fast. Uh, um, and, uh, around 5% of cancer patients develop spinal metastasis commonly from breast, lung, and prostate. Median survival rate of uh, 10 months. The predominant uh, symptom is pain. Uh, that can be divided to localized uh, axial and radicular pain. Treatment include uh, medical, and was covered by my colleague, uh, radiotherapy, surgical, and minimally invasive intervention. Minimally invasive intervention includes uh, vertebroplasty, kyphoplasty, and uh, radiofrequency. Those are the widely used uh, techniques. Those are not currently used as a first line of treatment uh, uh, because of the lack of expertise and uh, uh, insufficient outcome data from preliminary clinical trials. Radiotherapy uh, is often the mainstay of treatment in patients who have uh, radiosensitive tumors and who, have, uh, who cannot tolerate surgery or who have uh, poor uh, survival prognosis. With the success, uh, success rates uh, of radiotherapy range from uh, 40 to 70% and it needs uh, up to 10 days to work. Um, on the other hand, we have the vertebroplasty, kyphoplasty, and um, radiofrequency, which needs um, local anesthesia and sedation, and done in uh, one day uh, admission. Uh, needs uh, 11 to 13 gauge needle, using uh, transpedicular, extrapedicular, or uh, costal vertebral approach uh, to inject two to three ml of uh, PMMA to um, reduce the uh, pain. Kyphoplasty is just uh, balloon-assisted uh, vertebroplasty. It needs a uh, larger cannula size and with the uh, benefit of restoring vertebral uh, heights and uh, decreased uh, cement leakage. Um, radiofrequency ablation. It's an electrolyte that emits an ion that uh, converted to heat. Uh, uh, attached to radio frequency generator uh, that burn basically the tumor cells and create a cavity with uh, we combine it with the vertebroplasty or kyphoplasty um, it's shown the, uh, in, uh, as published in the uh, orthopedic clinical uh, north american in, uh, in 2009 that increase the efficacy of pain relief and uh, decrease the cement leakage so what is the indication of minimally invasive intervention? When we have a metastasis uh, a pain associated with the compression fracture, that is, uh, it helps in the stabilizing the vertebra, uh, that radiation therapy does not uh, do. Uh, when we have a refractory pain to radiation therapy, we know that uh, there is some tumor, they're um, less uh, radiosensitive, like sarcoma, uh, metastasis, and multiple myeloma. But we have an absolute contraindication uh, to do um, uh, minimally invasive intervention, like when we have a vertebral compression fracture, which is not symptomatic and um, uh, uh, radiosensitive. So we don't treat the, the compression fracture. Uh, and when we have an infection, local or systemic, when we have a coagulopathy and allergy to cement, and when there is a, a tumor causing spinal cord compression, this is an uh, indication of um, surgery. Relative contraindication are lack of surgical backup uh, when we have a vertebra plana and when we have a five uh, and uh, when we have five or more uh, metastases in the in the vertebra. But this is, a, as I said, it's a relative contraindication. As we can see in this uh, slide, we did in in uh, in one session ten uh, levels from T6 to L3, and we did, and we see the follow up of five years. Uh, with, uh, with, uh, without any uh, decrease in the height. As well as there is some difficult um, approach, like in the uh, intraspecal approach with this lesion in uh, multiple myeloma lesion. Uh, we can al always do uh, things for this patient. Complication is less than 10% and rarely major. Minor complication include uh, pain around the injection size, which is uh, an injection site which uh, normally decrease in the coming two to three uh, days. Uh, bleeding from the puncture side, which is correlate, uh, related to when we do more than 
uh, one levels, as well as when we have um, uh, high, uh, high, high vascular uh, lesion, like a renal cell carcinoma or thyroid uh, metastasis. Uh, cement leakage, whether it's localized to the spinal or neuroforamen, or distant like to give a pulmonary embolism. Uh, uh, some group uh, like this German group uh, published in European spine the long-term effect of the balloon kyphoplasty in the spine metastasis. They did around 65 patients with 99 uh, levels, uh, and they follow the uh, pain uh, scale uh, uh, disability and the uh, measuring of the vertebral height. They did the pre post operative evaluation three months, six, 12, uh, six months, 12 months, and 24 months. And they showed that the, the pain in, is decreased uh, with a constant uh, instance of, of, the, uh, of decrease till 24 uh, months as well as uh, increase uh, uh, quality of life and, de and decrease disability. And we, c we, we measure uh, the, the, sorry. We measure the anterior uh, uh, vertebral height, the midline, and the kyphosis. And we can see there is an improvement of the, of the vertebral height. Like in this example, an 82-year-old female patient with ovarian cancer uh, the, with the dorsal metastasis, balloon kyphoplasty was, was, uh, was done for two levels, and we can see one year follow-up, and one year follow-up here, and two years. Other groups, they are measuring the complication of, um, uh, of the vertebroplasty and kyphoplasty uh, together uh, in, two, in two years. Uh, they showed in 6.8% patient experienced complications. Seven of these complications were symptomatic, and one major complication lead to death by uh, uh, pulmonary embolism. The, new, uh, the newly introduced um, uh, uh, minimally invasive intervention is the radiofrequency uh, combined with the uh, Vertebroplasty and kyphoplasty, uh, as um, published in the neuro, uh, neuro oncology in 2015. Those group they uh, they, are did, they did uh, around 72 radio frequency associated in 95 percent of them vertebral augmentation, uh, and they showed that sa uh, it is safe and effective therapy for palliation. As in this patient, we have 29 year old female with uh, cardiac uh, angiosarcoma. They did for her five uh, radiotherapy and five uh, months follow-up. They show uh, a progression of the disease. So they took the patient to do a radiofrequency with vertebroplasty, and six months follow-up, we can see stop the, pro the progression and improvement of the pain. So in conclusion, like the name, it's minimally invasive uh, intervention and targeted. And uh, our uh, minimally invasive interventions not interrupt other therapy, uh, relatively acute pain relief, and stabilize the pain in comparison to radiation. In case of uh, refractory pain to radiation, minimally invasive intervention is an excellent treatment. Uh, minimally invasive uh, intervention are safe and effective therapy for palliation uh, of painful uh, spinal metastasis. There are many trials are still ongoing to evaluate more the minimally invasive interventions technique, and we need more people to be trained uh, in these techniques. Thank you for your attention.